What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I'm now going to do a reaction to King of Fighters 15 T Team Southtown DLC trailer. Uh, I hear this is the team that's going to feature Geese Howard, which is one of my all-time favorite fighting game characters. I actually had the opportunity to play Geese in Fatal Fury Special in a video rental store back then we rented vhs tapes and in a tiny room the owner had a couple of snk um arcade machines and one of them was king of fighter uh, fatal fury special and uh, that had boss characters playable from the original fatal fury so you could play as geese howard in his uh, red uh, skirt you know uh, that outfit and i believe he even had the intro where he had a white jacket and he froze it off and I, but, but I played that, and that was before I even played Tekken. <laughs> so that's super sick. I think it was in 94 or 95, pr prior to Tekken 1's release. But I, I just remember how cool I thought Keith Howard was. And he did that throw, his command throw, back 1 plus 2, where he throws them around like that. It was just so, so cool and so sick. And, um, yeah, he's... <laughs> Is, is just uh, one of the greats, in my opinion. Uh, I have not... Uh, thank you so much, Aguero. I have not played uh, <clears throat> King of Fighters 15, but from what I hear, the game is, is doing better than um, they expected. I, I haven't heard anything about the official sales figures or anything like that, but apparently it's doing pretty good and it has decent numbers on Steam. This is at least what people tell me. Haven't tried it myself, but I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I hope Omega Rugal was cool, but so uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at this. Gonna make sure the volume is all right. Oh god, that's super loud for me. Oh, Billy Kane. Do it yeah! Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Ah, another one of my favorites. He's really cool. His animations in like King of Fighters 13, they are so beautiful. And the attention to detail is amazing. God, that voice! <laughs> Jesus! Nice super. You cannot escape from death. Geeks Howard. ハハハハハ。<笑><笑> Ah, sorry, I need to rewatch that. He, I don't know, he looks a bit different. He looks good though, the in-game model, but he looks a bit different.
He looks older. No, to me, he looks younger. If you look at old artwork with geese, he's quite dark around the eyes. And they have this in Tekken 7. He looks very sinister. Here, I feel like they've removed that. He has a cleaner look. I don't know if his jaw is a bit thinner and more pointy as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I find King of Fighters 15 doesn't look very good uh, graphically. It's pretty dated but, but dated but we know they are working on a very limited budget so taking that into consideration um it does look way better than uh, king of fighters 14 but that game looked really really underwhelming on release especially since fresh in memory was king of fighters 13 which is 2d animated and is gorgeous to look at uh, those of you who haven't seen that game should look it up on YouTube. It's uh, it's ve very very good looking. I, I, I it might be the best two um, uh, D animated graphics out there. I think in a fighting game. I mean that's a big claim, but might be. Uh. I mean, yeah, th this looks pretty good, but I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's enough for me to pick up this game. I think it's still on Steam, like, full price. I mean, 60 euros? Is it 60 euros? It's like, for, for a game to be that expensive, it should have a lot of content. And from what I hear, this game doesn't have too much content. Love Geese Howard. Uh, um, Omega Rugal looks pretty cool. Uh, this trailer was pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I just don't know if it's enough for me to pick up the game. But uh, we'll see, you know, if it keeps steady numbers and there's a lot of people playing, uh, yeah, I might give it a shot in, in the future. It's just that right now, you know, I'm playing Tekken 7, and to me, the coolest character in this game is already in Tekken 7, and it's Geese Howard. And to be honest, did they knock it out of a park with Geese Howard in Tekken 7? I mean, are, are you kidding me? Like his voice, the way he, he looks, uh, super intimidating. His animations, his gameplay is amazing. They took these, this amazing legacy 2D character and they made him work in 3D. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the biggest selling point of the King of Fighters to me is Geese Howard and... He's already in my favorite fighting game, so yeah, I don't know. And I, I'm the, <laughs> I'm one of a few people who who hopes he makes it to Tekken Eight. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but uh, it would make me really happy and make most of you depressed. <laughs> it's my guess, <laughs> but I I do love that man, and I think they did uh, such a great job with him. But uh, for those of you who are into King of Fighters, um, this looked really cool. And these are three classic characters that I'm sure uh, I'm sure are going to make a lot of people happy. And we'll see if I join the battle at some point and buy I buy King of Fighters 15. But right now, I really don't see uh, a reason to do so. And obviously, the game is very time um, intense. You have to dedicate a lot of time. I don't know if they have uh, um, made the game uh, easier. You know, like everyone's doing now, Tekken and uh, uh, Street Fighter. Uh, but but uh, King of Fighters is very, very well known to be one of the hardest fighters out there. Uh, and I'm closing in on 10 minutes now, so that's going to be my thoughts. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was not on purpose. I noticed now I'm, I'm closing in. Okay, 9.50. I'm still not a sellout. 52, 53. Take care, everyone.